Look into the mirror, now the picture's getting clearer. I'm the answer to the question, is hip-hop alive or rest? And take a second to count your blessings. Might need to call your reverend. Hip-hop, I then resurrect it. Who you call the best, you need to re-elect it. No time for haters, no wristwatch. Nigga been hot since the piss pot. In my younger days, I had better ways, but now I'm grown now, I got a point to make. Get these rappers straight chills, no Harlem shake. Raping these tracks might build a case. Could beat the trial if I took a break, but now the evidence is obvious. Release the tapes. Feel these niggas, no kill these niggas. Got a heart that's big, but my ego way bigger. Spawn with a cannibal, I eat these niggas. Silence of the lamb, need Clarice, my nigga. Just to see me, I'm the opposite of TV. Real life raw, can't conceal that boy. Need a liquor license just to serve these boss. G next to blow like I'm strapped with napalm. Boom. Might check exclusive, we got KG. What's going on, man? What's good? What's good? What's going on with y'all, man? Chilling, chilling, man. So, anything you want to get off your chest first off, man, before we get uh get into the interview? Anything you want to say to the people? Um, Space Jam, hang yourself, of course. I got, I gotta say that, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I just love, I love how we uh been grinding in St. Louis, far as like on the hip hop scene. Like everybody is coming together a lot more than I probably have ever seen happen so i want to give that offer out to any artist who want to collab i make beats you know what i'm saying i record i engineer i'm working on trying to get my little videographer game up so you know but just you know come mess with me man i'm trying to mess with you come mess with me let's keep this moving let's keep working together you know what i'm saying pursuing our dreams the best way we can that's it that's what's up so um tell the people how you feel about that slumfest nomination man. uh Last year I said the wars came out, Slumfest, the TMAs. I wasn't nominated, didn't perform. I was like, well, maybe they don't see me grinding. Nobody, you know, that's doing those events see me grinding. But this year I got a nomination for the first time. That's Gucci. You got to know that. So I'm, I'm happy about it. I think all the uh, artists that's on there is, is working. They all working. Everybody that's from the Hip Hop Artist uh, Award, Best Video I think they are the contenders. You know what I'm saying? I need to be in that uh, best hip hop album, though. You know, definitely. But <laughs> what inspires your music? Uh, my everyday life. Everyday life. Uh, my daughters are definitely an inspiration. Um, just everyday life. I rap about what I do. Who do you look up to in the music game? We talking about like famous people. Anybody, I guess. Uh, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. I think that's like the complete answer to rags to riches, you know what I'm saying, from from the streets, you know what I'm saying, from Marcy Park to the, you know what I'm saying, the garden. Like, I look up to him in a, a big way because I want to do it like that. Who, who you know signs, like, phone deals? He sold a million phone, you know what I'm saying, his album, a million copies just by on, a, on putting it on the Galaxy phone when the phone came out, you know what I'm saying? That's like... That's a hustle, you know what I'm saying? His gale hustle just as hard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It ain't just, it's not just music, you know what I'm saying? So, real big on Jay-Z. You know, I'm a Kanye West fan, of course. That's yeah. what's up, man. So, what's what's the name of the title of the song we use, uh, Two Beast Things? What, what's the title of that song? Uh, it's Two Beast Things. Two Beast Things, that's yeah, all Yeah, but it's a Kanye West sample in there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's Kanye West on the hook or whatever. What inspired that? My homeboy, uh, Double O, made the beat. It's uh, Fly Free Productions or whatever. And as um, soon as I heard it, man, I was like, I got to have it. Let me get it. You know what I'm saying? We did a whole project together. Like, he did six of the beats. I did six of the beats. And so as soon as I heard that beat, I was like, okay, cool. I was thinking to write the song on what it's talking about. Ass and swallow up. You know what I'm saying? G-string, a little chick. We kicking it, grooving. And my homeboy, when he heard the beat, my partner Rook, he was like, uh, bro, you should change it up, bro. Switch it up. Make it a story. And just having an end where the girl got A's. Like, that was the first thing he said. He said, just make it some way where the girl got A's. I'm like, I don't know. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's like, <laughs> yeah. that with that beat, I'm like, yeah. it can go, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, switch up, flip a roof. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I, I do that. I write stories. So why not? Let me try it. And it came out good. You know what I mean? So. Is there a music video coming to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. But that's, that's kind of like a mini movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I want to make sure I got, like post-production right you know what i'm saying i need actors for that so you know yeah. what i'm saying if y'all looking to act in that let me know but you know she gotta have that dunk though so <laughs> yeah. that's what's up man 
that's what's up, man. So, you know, we at Mic Check, we be using, like, two beast things for, like, different stuff. Like, mm-hmm. like if we just say we got two or something, we'd be, like, two beast things. Like, okay. oh, man, he be with two girls, man. That dude, he got two beast things. Like, we be just using <laughs> it for that. And it be, like, clever. I don't know if you, like, knew that or not. But we be doing that. So, that's fine. Um, what do you see yourself 10 years from now? Or five? Um... Five to ten years from now, you know what I'm saying? I want to see myself definitely as a businessman. Made a lot of more power moves as far as uh, business. Like, you know, whether it's music, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, I'm actually thinking about getting off into real estate a little bit, working that out a little bit. But I just want to be a businessman, you know what I'm saying, be able to take care of my family. Uh, hopefully this music thing will pop off. I've been grinding. I want to keep grinding, keep keep working at it consistently. You know, I just want to eat. <laughs> Just want to eat, man, one way or another. So, Space Jam, I hang yourself. So what are some reviews on your um, on your project, uh, Master Ceremonies? I've been getting a lot of good reviews. Um, a lot of people that personally know me, they feel like it's a, a great album that represents me. You know what I'm saying? I came with a lot of commercial stuff, but I still kept it hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? I gave you a little bit of everything, a little storytelling. Um party music, if you wanted to go out, hit the club, you know what I'm saying? A lot of production on the album is me. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just So, you, so you make beats, too? Yeah, yeah, I make okay. beats, too, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I actually want to get out and start making beats for artists, you know what I'm saying? I, we can work something out, man. I like to collab with anybody anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, That's but, up. I don't know, it's just like, it's master ceremonies. I took it in the sense of, like, not just saying MC, everybody say I'm an MC, I'm a rapper, I'm an MC. I took it in the sense of, like, a master of ceremonies is any event, not just rapping, you know what I'm saying? And any event of rapping, whether that's we're going to go out to the streets, we're going to give them something that the streets can relate to. I'm going to give them something that the backpackers can relate to, you know what I'm saying? I got to get a lady something they can relate to. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's like that album, I put it in that sense. And so that's why it's like a combined, a combined effort of trying to meet every viewer's attention, that's you know, so... That's dope, man. So, 2014, what can we expect from you? A lot more visuals. Uh, I'm dropping another project in 2014. I don't have a date yet. You know what I'm saying? It's still in the working right now. Looking for beats. It's a certain sound I want on my next project. Like, what you I want, want What the, you going for? Next one. <sighs> soulful. Like, I want the whole project to be soulful. Like, every song, I want to have a meaning, a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Might not be too much party music. Like, even the party songs will have some kind of real element to it, so. Do you need a vocalist for um, any of your tracks for this uh, next week? Yeah, definitely. I need a vocalist for tracks, period, even if it ain't for the album. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. So, tell the people where they can find you at, you know, social media uh, networks. Um, you can get at me on Facebook, KG, K-A-Y-G-E-E. I always got to spell it out. Um, I'm on Instagram, Hip Hop KG. You know what I'm saying? Spell it out, of course, again, all one word. Twitter, the same thing, Hip Hop KG. YouTube, Hip Hop KG. Got videos there. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of the videos I shot myself. Y'all can check that out if y'all want to do a little work in that. Um, I'm everywhere, man. SoundCloud, um, That Piff, of course. Go to That Piff because that's where you can get all my mixtapes at. Uh, that Piff, Hip Hop KG, Search Space Jam, S P A C E, J A M M, two M's. Uh, and everywhere. In 2014, man, a new project, uh, more visuals. I really want to get a lot more visuals for 2014. You know what I'm saying? I want the people to see this face. <laughs> nah. But yeah, I just want to, you know, get it done, man. Make a lot of more effort in getting with more artists, collabing, staying relevant, you know. So what what's your, what's your views on the STL scene right now? Like, the progress that, you know, all of the artists are doing right now. What do you see, you know, us in, like, you know, a couple of years from now? Um, if we can get the right attention that we, we need for us being, you know, St. Louis, it ain't really a lot of outlets for it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't a lot of big people here that's watching the artists now. The artists that are making moves and how they kind of sticking together and 
everybody bringing their little community together, you know what I'm saying? I like that. I think it's going to be good because it's a lot of heavy hitters, man. It's a lot of people that's out here doing their thing and it's that's hot, you know. So we trying to knock at the door. Let us in, you know, either way. But what do you think some of the things we lacking that we can improve on? Togetherness. You know what I'm saying? Togetherness. Uh, let me help you help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people feel like they so hot that I can't get on a, a track with this person or I got to charge this person. Because, you know, it, it is about making money. But I think, like, people should look at budgets and look at how it is out here. You know what I'm saying? You're going to bust somebody's head to do a video when you ain't getting no work for real because ain't nobody trying to get their head busted. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you get in the video every once in a while. It's like... We don't really stick together and like some of your own friends won't share and like your videos. You know what I'm saying? That's a simple click. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? So it's just about if you're going to support, really support. You know, if you can make a show, try to make a show. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we know everybody ain't going to make every shows. You know, it is what it is. But just help the artists out. You know what I'm saying? If you really believe in those artists that you support. Because we need the fans. <laughs> Yo, that's that's powerful, man. Um, speak on on your daughters, man. Is is that a part of your inspiration? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughters is always a part of my inspiration, man. Cause I wanna, I want more for them. You know what I'm saying? The music, like, I'm at a mode now with the music where I don't want to get on nothing that I ain't feeling. Like, if it don't give me that, like, almost the chills, goosebumps when I hear the track, like. I don't want to get on it. Like, I'm at that point where, like, I feel like the next thing I need to do need to represent the passion I have for my kids and why I'm pursuing the music. And I want to just get that to them. So, you know, yeah, my daughters are definitely my inspiration. You know what I'm saying? That's always something when I see they face and they see me rapping or they come in there and they be like, Daddy, I got raps. You know what I'm saying? That's that's inspiring because they take out the what you do. So, that's, that's it. That's and I got song. girls. So I got to try to set the best example possible. Or do you think you know? You know what's lacking in, in our community with, with with fatherhood and, and daughters. Can you you know? Cause I I know a lot of our viewers you know are fathers and some are you know soon to be fathers. What advice could you give to them with a music career? You know how do you balance that? With the music. And and having a family. Um. I think the balance is when you love something. You gonna pursue it, and you gonna you gonna do it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Some sometimes certain things gotta be a part of you, and my daughters, of course, they are part of me. So I don't think no artist should ever feel like because they got kids or because um, the bills is due, like they can't put no effort into their career. You know what I'm saying? It's about time and then do what you can do. You know, you might can't get the videos done. You might can't make every show. But you can be at home working in the lab, you know what I'm saying, putting together a project. It's just about pursuing what you love, you know what I mean, and working for what you love and working towards what you love. So That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. That's inspiring me. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to the people? Uh, Master Ceremonies is out right now on that Piff profile, Hip Hop KG. Uh, I need y'all to go check that out, man. I'm telling you, like... You will not be disappointed. I got features on there, Rook. I got Bodine on there. You know what I'm saying? We we know Bodine, the word Smith, man. I'm telling you. Bars, man. Like, y'all mm -hmm. need to go listen to this because y'all going to be real surprised. Like, the talent that, you know what I'm saying, we, all put, we, we possess as artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give it a listen because the stuff that we listen to on the radio, yeah. there's some cats here at home, man, that's killing it. And I'm, I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm coming for cats too, man. <laughs> like it's real. Let's let's get it. That's it. Space Jam, hang yourself. Uh, YouTube, check me out at Hip Hop KG.